learn to keep secrets until the time is due and the atmosphere is right to speak you don't have to say everything happening in your life at the moment you must first and foremost wait until there is a due season not every information is for everybody Welcome to the Dynamics of the YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a podcast review on a message by Apostle Joshua Summer. Have you ever wondered how your secret might be sabotaging your future? What if revealing so much could jeopardize your dreams and relationships? This podcast reveals the crucial lesson of knowing when and how to keep your secrets. It highlights the pitfall of oversharing personal information, emphasizing that it is not every detail of your life should be broadcasted. It warns of the danger of indiscreet speech, illustrating how revealing too much can lead to misunderstanding, betrayal, and even personal setback. The key takeaway is the importance of mastering control over your world and being discerning about whom to trust. So I have a question for you. Are you guiding your secret wisely or could your opponent be compromising your destiny? So make sure you turn on the notification. Make sure you also share this video. Thank you so much. Learn to keep secrets until the time is due and the atmosphere is right to speak you don't have to say everything happening in your life at the moment you must first and foremost wait until there is a due season not every information is for everybody and i say this especially for many of us who have very strong family ties if you hit your leg, even your uncle in the village must hear that they hit your leg. And everybody calls in, in, in concert and says sorry. You have headache. Before you know it, your extended, your third cousins have had that you have small headache. That kind of life will land you in misery. And Mary kept these things to herself. He says, set a watch over my mouth. This mouth has landed me in trouble. The Bible says a word spoken in due season, how good it is. You have roommates. God is doing something in your house. But you went about telling people how everything is bad about your house. Now God is changing your house. But the impression they are spreading around is that your house is a grave. Jesus died, but how many days did he die? Huh? Three days. Some people were busy spreading rumors. Do you know that Jesus is dead? Whereas he had resurrected. And Jesus looked at them. There are certain people you were not supposed to share your past with. Because you cried that day, you told them everything. And now have a little quarrel and they say, I will disgrace you here. You know me. I, I Forget about any coin. I will disgrace you here. Coin on your word. Go and tell apostle. I will disgrace you here. <laughs> Who is it that used to collect money from Adamu? And you, see, they, and you are standing there. You are changed. But you kept an association and gave them an access that is destroying your life. Are you getting what I'm saying? Very important. In ancient times, when they wanted a king to reveal his secret, they would find a beautiful lady and she would seduce the king. And then he would drink wine and take wine and take wine and then she would lure him to sleep with her. And then he would ask, she would ask him all kinds of questions. That's what Delilah did to Samson. Because Samson knew this rule. Manoah had been given an instruction. And she came. What is As long as he kept that secret, he dominated. His, his rulership as a judge in Israel was at the mercy of his keeping distant relationships. The Philistines saw him. General relationships. They wanted to know how do we access this guy. Men of God, be careful with women. Let me warn you again. Emoji. Be careful with women. Every lady you see, you have you are giving a prophetic word. You just see her sweetheart. I have a prophetic word that is personal to just continue. God is watching and destiny is watching. One day you will wake up like like who? Like Samson. And you find out that your glory has been. I'm not saying ladies are evil, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying be wise. Hallelujah. Be wise. Be wise. Somebody came quietly and he said, Do you know that this phone is 250,000? I said, eh, Let me see it. Which? Let me see it. And then in the evening, you don't find the phone again. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting this person. Whether you are suspecting or not, it's gone. <laughs> Do you know that my father sends me 100,000 every month? My father is a senator. Are you aware? 
and this somebody just entered the room now in fact my father wants to campaign for this and that and that say oh really the person may be sincere but the bible says the birds of the air have picked it hmm. prophetic atmospheres am i blessing you do you know that godwin is going to marry me the way he has been looking at me he sent me a text come and even see the text and the other lady said hey, let me see ha -ha, you mean it's godwin you say okay two days later godwin doesn't call again one week later godwin doesn't call and he calls and says sorry this marriage cannot work again because somebody went and said let me tell you about this lady it's not like i hate her let me just tell you the truth this lady you are seeing abba yourself eh? you have paid the price for your destiny you deserve a consolation like all kinds of stories and now the person waters down this lady the lady may be doing it sincerely but there is a prophetic atmosphere compelling her to do what she's doing have you not seen that some of your friends join some associations and all of a sudden you start seeing certain things in them anger pride you understand somebody who used to greet you all of a sudden now looks at you tell me how are you i hear you're a pastor now give me five jari and you are wondering I've seen all kinds of people. I've seen people who would have seen me before and said, Good afternoon, sir. Not because it does anything to me. Today they just sing and the way they pretend as if they don't see an, see an apostle. Salufa. Ah. And you expose yourself to atmospheres that rape morality out of your life. You expose yourself to atmospheres. Some of you were respecting your parents until somebody told you something. He said, continue behaving like a vegetable here. Yeah. Let them push you to do everything. Haba, yourself. One day, give it to them. And that day, come now. Your father will talk and say, Daddy, it's not like I can't do anything. I'm just telling you now, don't try me. <laughs> From that day, no allowance. They drove you out of the house prematurely. And the friend who advocated that foolishness is, is sleeping under AC and he's leaving you to pay the price of lack of wisdom. It's amazing that when people get you into trouble, they will tell you, get into trouble. When you get there, they'll call everybody, come and see the trouble he has entered. Genuine people are scars. Learn this. Genuine people, I'm not teaching you to just be suspicious and to be cynical, but I'm telling you at the back of your mind, you must know the informations about your life and destiny that is for public consumption. Don't tell anybody it's nonsense. Don't tell anybody you. Ah. When words leave you, you can't buy them back. They are gone. And sometimes they can produce more disaster than you planned for. Gain mastery over your tongue. Psalm 39 verse 1. You must gain mastery over your tongue. Many of us, the devil in our life is our tongue, our words. You say everything to anybody. Informations that should not go out, go out. There are many married people. Okay, you got married. Two, three, four months you could not take in. Everybody in your community has known that, that is four months and you could not take in. What sort of person are you? Everybody, you just see them. See, oh, I went to the hospital and they said, my husband, blah, 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 blah. Do you know that my husband, this and that and that? Please, which pastor do you know to help my husband? Because, Kai, if I depend on this man, won't have a child. In the name of looking for help. Many of us run helter skelter. Small headache, you go everywhere. And then it's a painful thing to listen to a man who you think can solve your problem. And then open up everything and at the end he says, sorry, I can't help you. But he has had the information. Do people qualify for access to your life or do you just open up your gate a man who has no control over his spirit is like a city without walls. hallelujah is god giving us wisdom tonight you must know when to speak you must know when to speak and there are some of us who are under all kinds of pressure from our friends tell us now everything tell us hallelujah one time i was going to counsel a lady and she had something a, 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 a condition that that was a bit challenging and i don't know who she who she told very surprising she was coming for counseling and the friend sent me a text sir so 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 person is going to come for counseling she most likely may not tell you she has this 
but i'm telling you just to help you she has this and that and that and it's a serious condition please probe her just make it look like i didn't tell you anything i'm telling you the truth just for her. and then when this lady came the first thing she did was to tell me that thing and i said what if i were a wicked man i'm sure that she innocently trusted that person with some information are you getting what i'm saying now please be wise please be wise in this wicked nigeria please be wise be very wise when you find out that all of a sudden assassins come to a house and rob the place did they just guess men who don't keep quiet some of our parents when they are calling from upstairs and boys quarters you get hello sam how are you as a 10 million come no 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 no. it has to be 10 i can't take anything 10 it must be cash two million is here five, and somebody is hearing and those spirits are moving them saying arise pursue and and he's talking and all of a sudden he will go somewhere and then in the midst of it you find out that something will fail somebody will all of a sudden come and say sir daddy we have a little problem oh honestly we need one million and he said Kai, there's not much i said daddy the bible says this and that and that because you now betray the whole family because you cannot keep quiet two of my daughters are getting married i i met this man of god and he, the man is powerful i even plan to meet him because my wife has been complaining it's like she has she has an infection or something like that i think so i don't really know what has been happening to her this day you are, you are talking on phone shouting everything and your wife is there embarrassed and people are passing ah, ah. mommy has what what did we hear such a god he says i said I will take heed to my ways that I see not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me. Is that are you are you seeing that scripture? Whenever I see a wicked man before me, I will keep my mouth shut because I realize may your enemy not get to your place of breakthrough before you. There are certain things. Terrorists, terrorists one of the classic intelligence of terrorists is that they reveal informations based on your cadre and as the assignment comes so if you ask terrorists what is the next thing they don't know because the man already knows that he's working with wicked people so anything can happen there are all kinds of people that have gotten into trouble because of their mouth he says i will keep my mouth with a what a burden what you use to tie a horse's mouth especially when i stand before the presence of wicked people you went to your village the next thing you are shouting everything my jeep is coming back from this and that and somebody said really what color blue what type highlander and you just hear custom they'll call you they say they've held it in lagos welcome to the consequences of not keeping your mouth shut that's why talkatives are not my friends at all I have a serious problem with people who just run their mouth anyhow. There are people who come for counseling. I was sharing with some ladies. Immediately they come in. Ah, Apostle, Kai, this room is nice. You have wine. See, plenty wine. Ah, you are enjoying. No, Apostle, I'm afraid of that. You will never be my friend. I don't trust you in any way whatsoever. Very unapologetic about what I just said. I don't trust you. People, Peter was like that. Oh, Jesus, you will not wash my feet. He said, calm down. He said, bath me. In how many minutes you refuse Jesus from watching those kinds of emotional when people are not emotionally stable they, they should have no access to your secret place you can't call those people destiny associations destiny associations are the people that you come and talk to and they build you and you tell the person look I found out I've started having loss for women and the person says look, I've been sensing this atmosphere of loss let's pray don't worry remember that word god gave you i believe in you your pain becomes their pain they cry your cry even when it does not concern them they go all out of their way they, they love you genuinely when all men leave you they will be there they don't look like it some of them didn't go to school but when all the nice people leave you you will see them there they are the friends that stick closer as i'm speaking now god is ministering to some of us you are at a point in your life where the people who loved you are the ones who have stabbed you now and you are sitting down wounded and the person you thought nothing good will come out of is the only person you are meeting now and he says well if you can believe me i can help you when you find the gift of genuine men don't be embarrassed 
to keep that relationship. If it makes you a fool to keep it, do it. Genuinely. My neighbor has one friend. I've seen all kinds of people come to her. There are friends that only come when she brings clothes from Lagos. As soon as it lands, you see them. And you know how ladies do all their talk. And in my mind, I'm in my room. They're saying, this is exactly the kind of attitude that people have. There are people you see in church when they buy new equipment. You see them for one month. Instrumentalist. As soon as they buy new equipment, they want to come and see what's the happening thing. And I can play guitar. I can play this. After one month, they like new things. When a man of God gets married, the, the solidarity around them, they like new things. Once it goes old a little, they are, they are searching for something else. That's how they marry a lady. After three years, they look for another new one. After three years, they look for another new one because there is, there is a force that compels them to behave like that. There was a time my neighbor went through a very tragic event in her life. The miracle that she shared about fibroid. The fibroid situation was so serious. She was so, I can't begin to describe details for you. But then she brought a jerry can of water. She shared it, that's why I'm, I'm comfortable to share it here. I prayed on it and I told her, keep taking it. And the fibroids started cutting, supernaturally. I saw people who used to come around, they ran away from her. Men, brothers, they ran away. Church people who used to come, they will come and cook food. You, the sister can cook for you. But the day she just tells you, um, sorry, I, I wanted to tell you something. They've, they've been, they said I have a problem on one side of my womb. Say, ah, really? Since when? Whereas the brother said, look, let me tell you, not to love you is like not breathing. Mm. You are the, you are the, the, the uh, you are the, uh, what, all, all of those lies that people bring. Huh? And then they finish telling you that. And the guy looks at you and says, look, I love all of you. The lady says, all of me. He says, yes. He says, honestly, um, are you aware that I'm SS? I say, really? You don't look like it. Ah, why didn't you tell me? And you call again, I'm busy. Genuine people are 